What's up, it's you. For today's video, with a full elephant Pokemon team. Hold on to your trunks, people, because this is going to be a banger. Now, there's six Pokemon that are elephants in the Pokedex that I can use for Skull and Violet. We've got Fanfy, Donfang, Great Tusk, Iron Treads, Copperaja, and Cufin. I'll be using these six Pokemon on one team to see if we get some fun battles here. The funnily enough, they're mostly from the Fanfy line. So I've actually done a Fanfy uh, Evolution line team before, but I thought we'd do a full elephant team because I actually haven't done any of my animal themes for a long time. So if you've got any other, you know, animal themes you'd like to maybe uh, let me know that you'd like to see, put it below in the comment section of the video there. I have done a lot of them, so maybe check out what I have already done. All right, we've got three battles today with the Elephant team, and we're gonna battle against Peeps a lot. We have a elephant versus elephant team here. It's gonna be pretty cool. So we got a Q foot lead here, and it's actually gonna be outspeeding my special Don fan. This Don fan is Ancient Power, Hyper Voice, Earth Power, and Terra Blast Water. Sturdy as the Bithy Throat Spray as the item, max special attack and max speed. I got outspent by uh, that Cupid though, so I had modest nature, so that was a very, very fast Cupid. I believe it was Choice Scarf Cupid. Next Pokemon is gonna be Cupid, and I you know it was, at least it was a double KO there, Cupid and Don Fan. So we got Cupid versus uh, Great Tar. So this Cupid is a bulky set. I've got this as Everlight as the item, ability is gonna be Heavy Metal, Rest, Sleep, Talk, Fissure, and Body Press. So the EVs I put on this are Max Health and Max Defense, Careful nature so it's got some all-round bog there and it's still going to do a, you know, a reasonable amount of damage with the body press so i'm going to be going for a fish here and fisher is going to land on the great task that was amazing so netting me a very handy ko there at the start and bye bye great task now we actually had exactly the same teams there so it was really interesting to see you know what sort of movesets are uh, that would be used so we got the don fan coming in going for a knockoff that's going to get rid of my everlight now, when you look at Q-Fan's tail, like, do you wish you had a tail like that in real life? It literally looks like a cork, but it's sort of longer. So you, you could grab that tail and just stick it into a bottle, and then it'll make like an awesome cork. It really would. So I'm going to go for the fish there. It's going to have sturdy, and then it's going to have fisher and take me out with a, uh, a fisher. So that's the end of the Q-Fan there. That's two of my Pokemon down. Next Pokemon we're going to bring in is going to be Fanfy. So this Fanfy's a pretty cool set. Now, I've got Focus Sash as the item, Pick Up as the ability, I know, amazing, and we've got Endeavor Trailblaze, Flail Encounter. So this set is based around getting speed boost up with the Trailblaze, or I could also go for Counter as well if I feel like a physical type move is coming. So unfortunately, I didn't go for a Counter there because I wasn't 100% sure if Fissure was even going to land or, you know, they were going to use a different move. So I'm going to go for Trailblazing in there, boosting my speed. Now, since this Donfair did knock off my item, Knock Off is going to do actually less damage, allowing me to get a Flail off there. So all the moves are sort of working well together. So we got a counter strategy, we got a flail strategy, and we got an endeavor strategy, right? So pretty fun set. Next Pokemon is going to be Fanfy versus Fanfy, but this Fanfy has got a eye shard taking out my little Fanfy here. We're having a, a trunk of a time here, right? Now the next Pokemon is going to be Iron Treads. I know that was a horrible joke. Now uh, we're going to bring in Iron Treads, and we've got a special set. So I've got Quiet Drive, and that's going to be boosting my defense. Now, this is a Earth Power, Steel Beam, Thunder from Down Under, and a Volt Switch set. So, this is a fully special. We've got Max... Uh, sorry, we've got a little bit of a different set here. I've got Max 184 in health. 252 special attack EVs, and I've also got mod Sorry, I've got uh, 72 in defense. So I think this is the the one I did before was max speed and max special attack, I believe. But I'm pretty sure I've got those EVs for this one. So uh, we're gonna have the uh, Copper Arja swapping it in because I failed to take out the Fanfy, and I knew that an Ice Shard was coming my way. So I'm gonna earn the Copper Arja here. It's a it's a Quick Claw Stomp set only on Pidgey Channel, and I got the Quick Claw activated right away there and Fanfy is going to get stopped there it's like um you know it's it's kind of like so i was saying this before right it's kind of similar to lion king right but they're not, they're not i know they're not wildebeest but just imagine like a stampede of elephants coming way away like your way right or you know my way or your way Man, you wouldn't stand a ghost of a chance, right? So we're going to have a Terra here, Terra Copperaja. Uh, this is going to be Terra. 
uh, Terra Steel. Sorry, Terra Fighting. And I was like, okay, Terra Fighting. Obviously, they're using a fighting type move because it's Copper Archer versus Copper Archer. I went for the Fissure there, right? It's going to miss. Now, this is going to be Rock Smash Copper Archer, and it's going to be Sheer Force as well. My Copper Archer just gets absolutely dominated there in one shot. That was a Fissure, Heavy Slam, Stomping Tantrum, Stomp Set. We've got Heavy Nail as the ability. And Quick Law as the item. Max health and max attack out of a nature. So bringing in the iron treads there. I did my best damage I could there with the steel beam. I knew that I'd fake the turn after, but I really had to. You know, this rock smash copper raja, it was a threat, right? You're never going to hear this anywhere else in Pip Rush Channel, right? So now we're going to go into Great Tusk. This is my great troll. So we got that, um, we got that item activating there, boosting my attack. And now we've got... Feast your eyes on the rollout Great Tusk. I've actually both were running a rollout one, which is pretty funny. So what I'm going to be doing here is going for defense skulls. That's going to make the next rollout, you know, more powerful. Uh, let me go over what this uh, events and stuff was. So we have rollout, defense skulls, stop the tantrum, and substitute. Boost the energy as the item, and I've got max attack and max speed, jolly nature. So I want to be going as fast as possible, and of course I've got Terra Rock as well. So I thought it'd be fun to, you know, use something that was a little bit outside the box there for the Great Tusk, and I found it pretty funny that it got rolled out. So I go for that Terra Rock there. I've got like a, uh, I've basically got a house on top of my head at the moment. I know it wouldn't be very comfortable, but you know it is what it is. So we're gonna go for the rollout here. This is two rollouts. I was a little bit worried it wouldn't take it out. Uh, maybe on the second one. I was like, I hope it does, but you know, I know that I can leave one Rock Smash here. Does a lot of damage. That's doing a heap of damage. So now I'm going to go for the rollout there again. A bit of a strange camera angle. I'm going for that second rollout, and Elephant is going to go down, which is really good there. I oh, know. I, I was thinking they call it Elephant or Elephant because it's a, um, a fun elephant. Now, I'm going to tell you a story, right? It's really, really interesting. I'll, actually, I'll tell you in a sec after this matchup. Wait, is that... Is that Iron Tread's eyes closed? Why is it asleep for? It was literally asleep. I don't know what's going on there. It's going to outspeed me. I was going to go for a rollout KO, but uh, it never happened. That's the end of the first battle. Elephant versus Elephant. What a cool match there. Hope you had some uh, Elephant watching that. Let's get on to battle number two. This is a battle against Vlad. Now, my story. I know this is the most important part of the video. When I was a kid, right, I used to watch this show, and it was about elephants, right? And I can't remember the name of it. I used to have, like, a little puzzle. It was these elephants that lived in a house, and I can't for the life of me remember what it is. It's really annoying me right now that I can't remember. I believe it started with B. It was like, I, I, I know I know that it started with B. Like, I'm going to keep thinking about it for this entire video, but if you can remember or even know what it is, like, let, let, let me know. But there was these elephants, right? They lived in a house, and that, 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 that's, that's about it. I can't remember any more of it, but I do remember that I had a little puzzle with it, you know? It was like a puzzle that had these little... Um, I don't know, the, the puzzle pieces had like a little stick on them and you could grab them and do the puzzle. Like they were massive pieces. Anyway, sorry. Uh, uh, so we got a fair bit with a Focus Ash, um, a Focus Ash pickup here. Like this was incredible. Watch this. I got the Endeavor off there. Orikaru eats the berry. And since the pickup ability activates when the opponent does um, consume a berry or item, which is really, really cool, that means I'm going to pick that item up as well. So really, really interesting ability there, pick up. I know it's very situational, but you don't get to see it all that often. So that was pretty funny. Unfortunately, the berry's going to confuse Fanfy too. So now we've got Orikori. Go for Air Slash, and that is enough to take out the Fanfy. What is the name of it? Such a B. It, it's, I think it's B-A something. Oh, it's really annoying me. Anyway, so we're going to bring in the Great Tusk here. I've been thinking about it all day, but I didn't want to search up for it. I'd like to see if I can remember something without searching up. So now the Orikoro is going to go for a Roost here. So Roost is going to be healing it up a uh, fair bit there. I'm going to try and get this rollout going, right? So I've got the first rollout. Out. Good damage there. Excellent damage to rollout. Now we're going to get hit by a Revelation Dance. So I'm able to lift that just due to my overall bolt, which is nice. And rollout misses. It was a disaster. Now they're going to go for another Quiver Dance here. That was pretty confident. Go for a second Quiver Dance. I just went for a roll at it again. Um, I really didn't have a, a lot to lose here. So go for a roll. I was like, I think this is just going to take it out or just fail. And it didn't fail. It took out the Orikoro. So a solid start to the battle there. Uh, the next Pokemon is going to be the Goat. Also, this is a battle against Vlad as well. I'm, I'm not sure if this one was on this on my stream or a random battle. I can't remember. It's hard to remember. I do so many battles. So we got the Goat leaving the roll out really easy. And that's going to take me out with a sparkling horn leech. There. Those, those, it feels like... um. 
you know, Skiddo's got some um, shoe polish there, you know, rubbed its horn so it, you know, shines really, really bright like a diamond. Now, the next Pokemon is going to be Iron Treads. Now, I'm thinking to myself, all right, well, I could go for a Steel Beam here. Let's do that. How bulky is this thing? Very bulky. The goat is going to live on, like, 10 health there, and it's going to hit me with the, eye, um, the um, Iron Treads with the Horn Leech there, but it doesn't take me out. At this same time, I can't really go for Steel Beam again because I'm going to faint, and I didn't really want to go for Thunder because I thought, mm, might miss. So, I went for Volt Switch. It failed to take it out. Now, we got the Copper Archer coming back in here. And Copperaja is going to get hit by a stopping tantrum. So, you know, that wasn't a fair play there. I, I guess my team is kind of weak to the same thing. So, I got another Quick Claw here. And that was another Quick Claw stop. And uh, that's another flat Pokemon there. So, uh, you know, the Goat is going to um, join Stunfisk and being the flattest Pokemon ever. Now, the next Pokemon is going to be uh, Harold. Now, I don't know whether this is a theme team. If anyone can... Uh, you know, you can pick up on this. Let me know. And yeah, yeah, people. Also, another thing. If you want to see more, if you like these animal theme teams, I quite enjoy doing them. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you want to see more. And uh, you know, if you want to see my videos more in your subscription soon, maybe you're not seeing them all the time. You're wondering why I've clicked that bell. You actually have to hit like on the video and leave a comment. That's just how YouTube is now. If you're not seeing videos all the time, uh, sadly. Anyway, so I could, that was a wild play there. We had Hydro Miss, Fissure Miss, Hydro Miss, Fissure Miss, and then I got a quick claw, two quick claws, and two hydro pump misses. That was insane. Uh, that was some really, really bad luck there for my opponent. It comes sus, and it was pretty sus, right? Because they're going to go for a flamethrower. So I'm thinking to myself, how can I get around this? Because this is pretty, uh, this is pretty good counter for my team. So I went to the uh, trusty Don fan here. Now the uh, the Zorak's going to go for a nasty plot. This is actually a really, really bad matchup for me because I need to fake this real soon. So I've got special Don Fan, good damage there. However, the Zoroark wasn't a Zoroark, but it was a Zoroark, but there was a Hisu Zoroark. So I know that was confusing, but just yeah, bear with me. So I've got the Sturdy as the ability here. They've got Throat Spray, Hive Voice. Oh, they just got Hive Voice. And I just went for a second Earth Power. Thank goodness I had Sturdy there. Otherwise, I would have lost the battle right then and there. Next Pokemon is the Zoroark that was disguised as a Zoroark before that almost tricked me, but didn't. And now it's going to go for a Night Days on. That was a little bit risky. Imagine if that were actually did miss. So that's the end of my Don fan. So back in the Iron Treads now, I'm hoping that I might be able to outspeed here and take it out. They swapped their Zoroark out and then they went into John Cena. Now the problem here, right, they sent out John Cena, but it's but there's no Pokemon there. I can't see it. So I went for a Dynamax to see if I could. And this Dynamax on my Iron Tread, right, is going to be a... We, I was thinking about running Steel and I was like, maybe I should run Electric instead. You can know, power up that Thunder. So I decided to go for the Electric Electric uh, Terror on my uh, Iron Treads here. Going for that Thunder, it's going to land too, which is really good. I was like, this should take it out, right? And it did in one shot. So I still can't see any Pokemon there. You know, I can see the Grandma dancing, but there's no Pokemon, right? Uh, if you get the meme, you get the meme. So we're going to have the Zora go for a Grass Knot here. Grass Knot is going to be enough to take me out. And it outspent me too. I'm like, man, that, um, that was pretty quick, you know, because I've got uh, max speed there almost. So now I'm going to bring in the Q-Fan, my last Pokemon. Then they went for a Grass, and I'm like, wait, I know they've got Night Days. Why are they not going for the Night Days for? So then I found out, right, that the opponent had Choice Specs. So they were locked into that Grass Knot from earlier on. So we've got Terra Duck Zoroite, which is not going to change too much here. It is still weak to Body Press with my Q-Fan, and they locked into using a only Grass, uh, like only Grass Knot there. So q -Fit is going to be able to take out the Sus Zoroark, and yeah, that's the end of the battle. So that was a Choice, a Choice Zoroark there. That's the one thing about Choice items that can be bad if you do go for a certain move and maybe like, oh, well, I've only got one left. It's not like I can swap out there. Like, th th that can happen there. So, uh, thank you, Vlad, for the battle. Interesting team. Let's get on to the last one. This is a battle against Mar Marcy, uh, Marcery, or Mary C. And we got a Palafin League. Just jokes. It's a Finnis and C. People always try and do this to me, but you're not going to trick me, right? I'm, I'm the Pokemon troll master. So, we got a Water Pulse set there. I was like, come on. I went for a, <laughs> I went for a counter. So counter is going to be a disaster. Fanfy can't do it. Can I outspeed it with Endeavor? I'm like, man, that, that's awesome, yo. Max speed Fanfy coming in hot. And uh, Fanfy is going to be fainting there. So it was all right. I got some damage off uh, with Endeavor. So it was better than nothing, right? I could have got for Trailblaze there, but I, I didn't. Now, the next Pokemon I thought to bring in is Donphan. Because I'm like, well, this is Max speed Donphan, right? I know that I can outspeed a Fanfy with Max speed. So I've got Hyper Voice. 
And I got Ancient Power. So I decided to go for the high boys there for a sure boost in special attack. I, look, I could have risked Ancient Power, but let's be real. It probably wouldn't have happened. So I've got one in special attack, which is pretty good. So Throat Spray, you has got to activate there. And um, now I'm thinking, well, I might be able to go for Ancient Power. i got a question to you all as well. Can you actually ride on an elephant? Is that a, is that like a, let's see, a Pokemon. Is that an animal you can have? Can you have elephant rides in real life? I wonder how that would be. Like, I know you can ride on other animals like uh, camels and those sort of things, but I, I, I'm guessing you have. Has anyone ever ridden an elephant in their life? Like, uh, you know, I don't know, some sort of like wildlife safari. I have seen elephants on wildlife safaris, but, uh, you know, I've never had the chance to hop in the saddle, you know, and, uh, you know, ride along with it. I, I guess it'll be quite a slow sort of plot. Anyway, so back to the battle there. I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, Oinkalode's going to come in and go for a Chilling Water. It's a special set, which is pretty nice. Now, my Thunder is doing nothing to this. Really, it's doing nothing. I'm like, this must be like... Like, super, super sort of tanky build there. It lived on one health, and I get a Paralyze. So that's pretty nice. Not that it, not that it actually mattered too much, because it managed to get a second Chilling Water off there. Uh, you know, it didn't get Paralyzed. So I can go for any attacky move there and take it out. So I just went for an Earth Power, because you know, that one's not going to miss, right? You didn't, wouldn't go for a Thunder there. So I didn't think they'd swap either, being on one health and Paralyzed, yeah? The next perm is uh, going to be uh, what's Warm the Sociable. <laughs> My Orthwarm is very sociable. So this uh, th uh, this uh, shiny Orthwarm, I can't use Earth Power against because it's going to have Earth Eater. Steel Beam's going to do Donkey, so I went, you know what, let's go for a Thunder here. Now, I am going to do an updated Cat Pokemon team. I've done a Dog one already, um, so I I'm just waiting for Pokemon Home because I know there'll be six cats there. So if you've got any suggestions for the Cat Pokemon team that are, you know, Pokemon in the game and that are, are going to be in the game for Home, uh, let me know in the comment section, but I will be doing that one in the future. So, you know, if anyone's already typed that or you know, thinking about that, um, I, I can do that. But uh, any other animals, too, I'd like to cover. But just do a little bit of a search on YouTube before you type it in there, because I have done quite a few of them. But I might be able to revamp them if there's, say, there's a lot of new Pokemon in this gen that could fall under that category. Anyway, so Orthworm is going to leave my body press here, and it's going to be able to get a uh, Earth Power. So it's a special Orthworm. That's pretty cool. And I'm going to go for a second body press to take take out Orth War. Now, I've taken half the team out. Things are looking pretty good so far. Next Pokemon is going to be Doggo. So I'm like, this might be a bulky set or a troll set, right? So I was thinking, well, I can't use Body Press. I've got absolutely nothing to lose here. So how about I just go for the Fissure there, right? See if that can land. I'm pretty sure I can live, you know, a couple of hits from this thing because, you know, Q-Fan is, it's got some pretty good bulk to it. Fissure is going to land on the very first go. I also thought that, um... Yo, Q Fan and Copper Raja. I always thought they they should be ground type Pokemon. To to me, right? I mean, I get the steel thing kind of, but you know, I feel like they shouldn't to be like uh, like you know with all the ground move. They get like earthquake and earth power. I'm thinking like ground and steel. Like, what do you think about that? Anyway, we got our Bombardier coming in here. Our Bombardier, the, the wasn't it like the gourmet? I don't know how it would taste there. I, I guess it would probably taste like chicken. And it's gonna be a special set with Dank Pulse, but that's not gonna do a lot of damage to me. Now, this uh, Bombardi is going to have a, uh, a high voice, and obviously he's going to have a throat spray set there. They're trying to boost it up to be able to take out my q -fin. So the next hit's probably going to take me out, because, you know, judging on the damage that Dark Pulse did earlier on to me. So we're going to go for a body press here. It's about a, let's say, a four-hit KO at very, very best to faint this. So I know that I won't beat it, but at least I've got some damage on there. I'm pretty happy with that. So that's q -fin. is going to get crit there. You know, don't think it mattered after that boost. Now, I've got Copper Raja, and I've got Don Fan, and, you know, a couple others left there. So, things are looking all right at the moment. Now, I've got Heavy Slam, or I've got Stomp. I was like, well, Heavy Slam will definitely take it out with Heavy Metal. That's pretty powerful. Here comes a Dank Pulse there. Does a fair bit of damage to me. I am running Max Health, and uh, that's going to be uh, taken out there by the Heavy Slam. So, bye-bye, Bombardier. Now, there's one more Pokemon left, and that is Scream Tail. So, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, well, Heavy Slam's going to do a lot. But they may have a fire type move. I want to go into Dot, sorry, Great Task and see what they're going to do, right? Because they definitely won't expect that to swap in. So when the Great Task here, um, I'm going to have to boost the energy, which is going to boost up my stats, which is fine. And I might be able to get this rollout set to work. So they went for Dazzling Gleam. I would have not expected them to go for Dazzling Gleam against a Copper Raja. So I'm like, 
Maybe that's all they had. Maybe they just had a psychic type move and a fairy type move. I that that must be it. Unless they expected me to swap into this, like I don't know. That'd be like a, a super super galaxy brain play to think that. So I decided to go into a rock type here, and I might be able to get two roll outs. So I feel like I can live the first one easy, get that roll up, and then go for the second one. So hopefully I can get this KO with roll out. So go for the first roll out. Pretty good damage there when you think about it. So like, okay, that's good. Will the second one take it out? It's going to be kind of... It's going to need to be a crit here, right? So since I did go into a rock type, it's not going to be super effective, the Dazzling Gleam. So now I can get a second one off here. So I'm going to go for that, and it does huge amounts of damage with a crit, but it still doesn't take it out. I needed three rollouts to take out Screen Tile. Screen Tile is a very, very bulky Pokemon. So that's going to be the end of the, um, the Great Tusk there. Now that I know the coast is clear, that... They don't have any other moves to hit my Copper Arch with. I can bring that back in because, you know, if they had a Fire-type move, they would have used that or a Ground-type move, you know? So now it's going to go for a Protect. Uh, it's good to use protection, people. And they're going to get another round of their leftovers there. But, you know, this is still going to do a lot of damage, you know? Like, I know that I'm going to get outsped unless I get Quick Claw or something like that, right? So Screamtail has got just a little bit under half health. They're going to go for a Wish. I'm like, all right, so... I, all I gotta do is fight this. I know that I can there. It's a big old elephant. It's heavy as heck. And uh, that is gonna be it of the scream tart. It's gonna be screaming after getting sat up by an elephant. That's it, people. Hope you enjoy this one. Peace out.